Hey everyone, this is Arthur Lisiaga with Good Times Radio TV. We're here at the 2013 Chicago Auto Show. We're here with the Director of Communications, Mark Bylight. Mark, how do you do? Great, how are you doing today? Really good. Um, could you tell us a little bit about the history of the Chicago Auto Show? Sure. We're the oldest show. We've uh, had 105 editions and uh, we started in 1901. In 1935, the Chicago Auto Show came under the control of the Chicago Auto Trade Association. And we currently have produced that show since 1935. Very good. So how is it all formed every year? Like, how do you guys get those certain themes in on the showroom floor and all that? Yeah, so, I mean, you would think that uh, you would plan the event year-round, but it doesn't really work that way. Our exhibitors all have other auto shows that they do the rest of the year, so they focus on, you know, one show at a time. What we do is generally in about July, we go to each manufacturer and we talk about what they're going to do at our show, what they uh, might have in their booth, what vehicles they might be bringing, what introductions. And from that, we're able to put together a little bit of a floor plan, a little bit of a layout. They tell us how much space they want. And then we uh, try and tie that all together in one way or another. And you can see that one hall is uh, mostly high-end and luxury vehicles, and mm -hmm. the other hall is, is mainstream vehicles, and then also our test tracks. We've got three test tracks this year with Chrysler, Jeep, uh, and uh, Toyota. Definitely. And, and this so far this year, what exhibit or car manufacturer has mostly caught your eye? I don't know. You know, what's really interesting is how Hyundai and Kia have stepped up. Chicago is a wide open car market mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, unlike Detroit where it's domestic and to, uh, LA which is mostly imports, uh, Chicago is a, is a very uh, competitive market for the automakers. So uh, in that sense, Kia and Hyundai have, have kind of taken ownership of the show and they really put fantastic displays together. But Volkswagen has a gorgeous display. Chevy does the largest display that they do in any auto show. Toyota and um, Ford right here at the entrance to the South Building have tremendous displays. It's hard to, you know, single out any one. Yes. Uh, and uh, what we're really excited about is uh, all of the manufacturers are now bringing new kits to the show. And that's kind of an inside term, kit. But really that's the display pieces that they have. And uh, they've all started building new kits and we're getting those. So that you'll see higher end finishes, you'll see more uh, integrated uh, entertainment and more uh, integrated um, activities for people to do. Whereas a few years ago those were all kind of standalone pods and stuff. Now it's all integrated into the display and, and it's really neat. So we're very excited. Interesting. So where, where can people find out more information? Uh, ChicagoAutoShow.com is the place to go. Perfect. Thanks okay. again, Mr. Thanks. Bryant. No problem. Again, Arthur Lisiaga with Good Times Radio TV. See this interview and more at TomorrowsAlliance.com. Thank you.